just about ready to release the next game update into public beta. This is version 104, and it does not include multiplayer. We are making good progress with multiplayer, but not quite there yet. But this does include the bison. Bison are finally here. Well, almost. Working on a couple last bugs. So the bison will be here within a few days in public beta. Bison are dangerous and they're cranky, so they're best appreciated from a distance. But you can try your luck if you want, as long as you don't value your life too much. This has a bunch of other stuff. One of the biggest ones really is some revisions to the elk hunt. Elk run a bit faster now. They don't turn as much. They don't slow down as much when they turn. And all that means they're generally better at staying clustered together in a herd when they're fleeing you. So, so that herding behavior is just much better and more realistic. We kind of drifted away from it with various tweaks we made. We pulled things back together and it's a big improvement. And here's a cool video that our beta tester Loach made comparing the, an elk hunt in the last release and what's coming here in the new version. All these tweaks really improve the hunting experience, I think. This update also includes a number of changes that we've made as we work on multiplayer, things that we needed to change on that but affect the whole game. So when you can travel about with your pack of wolves in multiplayer, you might uh, encounter stranger wolves more often. And when they attack you, the way to break out of that bite hold, the way to shake them off, has been the space bar. If you tap the space bar repeatedly, and uh, we found that doing that a lot wasn't great ergonomically. So we've changed that to the left and right movement keys, which is for most people it's the A and D, or maybe the left and right arrow keys. If you use a controller, it's wiggling the left joystick, left and right. And you do that a bunch of times and you'll break free pretty quickly actually. So that's something to keep in mind. We also had to adjust the size of the hexes in the Lost River territory. We're working on refining the territory quest gameplay in Lost River and it turned out that those hexes were too small so we've made them bigger and so this change if you load a save game in lost river it will just reset to this new initial state for the territories you'll lose whatever changes the packs had made and if you'd been trying to uh winnow down their claim on territory hexes it'll reset all that so sorry about that but um, it's for the best looking forward oh and here's another new thing we haven't mentioned this yet but we are finally bringing stats back to the game we've got the stats hooked up here in the customization panel so this is somewhat similar to the old game but instead of using sliders we just show points so you spend points to change certain attributes of your wolf strength so before you can increase one attribute you have to decrease a different attribute in order to gain some points to spend there for example if you want your wolf to be fast you'll first have to take penalties in one of the other areas like strength which would create a wolf that's faster but deals less damage to prey and competitors. You can experiment with this in single player, but it's really going to be valuable in multiplayer once that comes out. So you and your friends can create a pack that has complementary strengths and weaknesses. And finally, a little plug here. Sometimes people ask how they can support the game. There's all sorts of ways you can support it. Obviously, buying the game is a great way. Gifting it to a friend. Both Steam and Itch.io have ways to do that easily. But other things are very important too. Writing reviews on Steam is really important. And we're very happy that our review rating is quite high, but we'd love to get more reviews as well. So if anybody out there hasn't written a review yet, we'd sure welcome it when you uh, feel like doing that. And spreading the word about the game amongst your friends on social media or whatever is always great. And if you got a hankering to throw some more money at us, we do have a donation page on Fundly. Here's the link for that. And uh, that all goes directly into the game development so we can make it as good as we can. There's also our merch store with lots of logos and screenshots and dreams designs on t-shirts and mugs and notebooks and a huge variety of products. And all those proceeds also support the game. So again, this update, version 104, is coming soon, very soon, in the next few days. And then be released officially, hopefully sometime next week. Just be careful of those bison. Like I said, multiplayer is coming along quite well, but still some things to do. For example, this bug when everybody tries to go to sleep, but the game can't quite decide exactly where they should sleep. 